Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. I missed her, but here I am in Queen's Park at the Glade. Well, this is a bit of history. I am in the Queen's Garden in Bromley. I didn't get to see the Queen, but I'm with a lot of people who saw her sharing their wonderful experience, even though it was just a few seconds. But what's really wonderful about this moment, it rained all morning, and when I stepped out, the sun decided to shine. So I'm walking around right now, experience a bit of, experiencing a bit of nostalgia. <laughs> Here we have some more nostalgia. They've taken out the old buses in celebration of the Queen's Silver Jubilee. Let's have a look what's going on over here. This is Bromley Town. I remember when I was young, those were the kinds of buses that I used to ride on. Aren't they wonderful? Let's have a look. Sorry. Going. No one car. North? Okay. Thank where you. Where are you going? I'm staying right here. Oh, right. But I just wanted to know where the bus was going. Okay. <laughs> How old is this bus? 60 years old. 60 years old. Wow. Is this one of the first ones? Yes. Single deckers. I don't remember seeing these. I remember those ones. Sorry? It's a standard post-war single decker in London. Right. It was introduced in 1951. And they right. last ran in service in When did these go out of service? 1979. 79, okay. I don't remember these, but I really do remember those okay. those ones. Wow. <laughs> Takes me back in time. And this bus went out of service in 1959. Wow, what a step back in time. I had a look at a few of the buses at the front of the building a little while ago, and it took me back in time to when I was a little girl. Anyway, I'm walking around. <laughs> Someone's waving at me right like there. Walking around, and I will be showing you a little bit more of my wonderful town, Bromley. fashion from the past. Wonderful British weather, as you guess. Rainy morning. I almost stayed indoors, but I came out in the end, and I'm glad I did because there's such a wonderful ambience right now. I'm enjoying this day, meeting people, seeing some wonderful people who created some wonderful cakes, and I've taken a film with a few of them. Anyway, we'll put this on YouTube later, so I hope you get a look at it. And hello, Natasha, the creator of this wonderful cake. <laughs> Tell me, how long did it take you to make that cake, Natasha? Two weeks. Two whole weeks. Two long weeks. And what was the inspiration behind this? Um, I like doing original cakes, so I thought what I could do to kind of commemorate the Jubilee. And um, I thought no one's ever made a life-size bust of the Queen before, so I thought I'll be the first to try that out. And you've done an exceptional job. Oh my goodness, what a resemblance! <laughs> 
Yeah. That is amazing. So, How did you actually get the picture, the, the actual um, mold? I googled the picture on the internet and literally just tried to um, kind of get the likeness from that. So it was quite difficult because it wasn't 3D, it was 2D. So it was hard to kind of get the um, the dimensions right. But Well, you've done a, an amazing job. I am Thank just you. so, oh, over the moon. It is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Have you got any loppers there, Johnson? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been cheeky.